YouTube, we're back. YouTube, we're back. All right, uh, Don Big and Tony. Um, I had a question. I had a question. He has a question. All right, so I got a question. Um, we're gonna we're gonna kind of squash this in the bud right away. I nip this in the bud. Um, so the, the video I put up with Clint, Sifu Clint Cloys of Indianapolis Wing Chun and I uh, cheese selling, um, you guys are so hell-bent on that fuck sell, it's ridiculous. Uh, number one, you know what, I, the, I got to throw out the window, there's no such thing as correct Wing Chun. It's as simple as that. Wing Chun is a conceptual martial art. What, an idea, I mean, this is centerline, right? So if you, if you come, you bring your punch all the way out here, is it still centerline? Sure, if you can bring it back into center line and you can make it work. If this is your center line, great. If that's your center line, great. It's a conceptual martial art. So, um, Andre Liu asked Clint the other day about the Fook Sao. And you got to forgive me, someone else commented on there um, with the, with the Fook Sao and said that why, and Fook Sao is, looks like this in the form. We train it here, okay? So, I've got my wrist almost bent in a position. Some people will really turn the energy on, fingers bent. And it'll push forward. Ours is nice and relaxed. And then you're going to get the two different schools of thought with different schools on who's, who's correct, if you will. Okay, when we put Chi Sao into play, the Fook Sao covers the Tan Sao hand. Everything has forwarding energy. Tan Sao is simply responsible for coming forward. The way that we were all taught in the beginning is if you have forward pressure based on the curvature of your, your um, forearm, and the forward pressure, if Tony continues to come in, it's going to slightly veer his forwarding energy off. That's an idea for Fook Sao, okay? We have one responsibility in Wing Chun, which is the punch. You have a ton, ton of different tools. Tan Sao, Pak Sao, Bong Sao, Fook Sao, okay? All these different tools, they're shapes. If you're so hell-bent on coming up with a shape within you know, your fighting, you're screwed. If you go into a, a combat circumstance, a fight, and you think Tony sets up, punches, I'm going to throw that bong cell. If you think that, you're embarrassing your Wing Chun and you're giving us a bad name. Your responsibility is solely to punch off the bat. He punches, bridge that gap with a punch. That's your responsibility. Anything else from there, they force us to do one of the shapes. Tan, bong, pak. It's all we, that's all we do. They force us. If I bridge that gap, and Tony, he forced me to do bong sao. Punches again, forced me to do tan sao. Punches again, forced me to do pak sao. I, I don't think which ones to do. Okay, he forces me. So to get back to this comment real fast, um, Andre says he's new to Wing Chun. Uh, it's just the way I learned it, meaning the fuk sao. But it does look as if without the fuk, that tan isn't blocked. When Chi Sao with him, did you find his midsection vulnerable or not really? Uh, do you have a video on the Fook Sao technique? Fook Sao is not a technique. This is the disagreement with myself and someone else who says that within this, and we learned this in Don Chi Sao, another exercise. Keep in mind, all these exercises are for one thing, to develop your fighting skills. They're not fighting. If Tony in Don Chi Sao turns his Pak Sao hand over, my job is to jump Sao. Now, what does that mean? Do I jump Sao into me? Do I jump Sao forwarding energy? This is the drill. And I don't care which one you do, you do either one. Nothing is wrong. My job is to pick up sensitivity, punch, he jumps Sao, then I punch at his face. He bong Sao. Then we reset. Chamber hand, please. Punch, Pak or palm strike. Jumps out, control. One of the arguments this other person was telling me was that your job is to keep everything on center. And my argument is, what happens when somebody's shoulder doesn't allow that? What happens when somebody's size does not allow them to get in the center line? You know, if, my, if I'm so large I can't, or I can't move my shoulder, my center's open, my fuk sao will do nothing in this position. My argument is also that your job in Wing Chun is to develop sensitivity to fight that punch, fire that punch, right? So if I'm resting, I see, for me, again, this is my Wing Chun, guys, I don't see a value in controlling the center line when he attacks and then punch. I don't see a value in control. If you use the word control in Wing Chun to me, 
your Wing Chun is garbage because you're focused on controlling these arms. Control the center, no. Change your mentality, dominate the center. Own the center, okay? I wanna own that center. Tony moves, I wanna own that center. That's my only job. I feel sensitivity, I move. I own that center. That should be your Wing Chun, that first movement. Boom! Fire that throat, that's it. Wing Chun was the developed to, to end a fight in two seconds or less. So when you guys saw Clint, and Clint, I'm, I hope you answer this again, Clint was in a position where he didn't do futsal. He was in time most of the time. So we're rolling, we're gonna roll it, and, and you see Clint, is, he's just got a time. He's here, this is his position, but he still has elbow, he still has control, he's still there. How is it different if he has this resting up here versus here? I don't, I cannot comprehend how this is gonna make a difference if he had control or if he protected his center line, if you will. You tell me the difference. Has everyone seen the Ip Man photo of him chi on with Bruce Lee? And at the top of the movement, he's rolling here. And then you see him here. Well, is that Bong Sao? Or is that Bong Sao? It's whatever he chose to do. It's an exercise. You are just learning to bridge the gap to fight. Fuk Sao is not a technique. If Tony elbows, you know, uh, when we train, we do a cool little movement for an elbow. He elbows across, you know, I, I'm up in Fuk Sao position, but that's not a Fuk Sao. We do the Fuk Sao in the form. This one, you know, draws back two, three, however you choose to do it. My first teacher, we gooseneck the heck out of it. Put a lot of tension on there. Ever since then, it's relaxed. Other schools will tell you, oh, they don't teach the, the floppy hand chi Sao. Chi Sao has nothing to do with the wrists. You learn to develop the elbow energy in the rest of your body. So if you are po focusing on your hand, you're stopping all that energy at your hand, you're trapping it here. We don't want that. 99% of Wing Chun can be, do can be done without a hand. There's a very, very outstanding Wing Chun practitioner out in uh, I, uh, Philip Bayer who does not have a hand. I don't understand how he could do a fuck, but it's protective when he winds up coming in, uh, in his Chi Sao. All these shapes come organically. If you watch Russ Sijan, Jin Young, Ernie Barrios, none of them, they, they don't make these shapes. None of the bridges are, are formed with something. If Tony punches, you don't do this. Punch, don't do this. Punch, none of this. Because it's all garbage, because you're chasing that hand. You punch, punch has got to be up, your center has got to be protected. Anything post that is where your chi sao comes alive. You watch all these guys, their hands are floppy like crazy. You know, Tony punches. All these, their, their elbows are what they're focusing on. When we chi saw we link up. Your points of contact, you're just making contact, you're relaxed. As long as your center line's controlled, if he comes in for an attack, your forwarding energy negates that. Not controlling, then attacking. Okay, that's just my opinion on that. So when you guys are so hell-bent on this Fuk Sao, that's not Wing Chun, keep in mind, this is why Wing Chun does not work in MMA. This is why Wing Chun does not work in a street fight. This is why Wing Chun sucks, is because you guys think that this, 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 this is Wing Chun. It's not. Wing Chun is the idea of keeping your center protected, attacking theirs. You don't control anything. You're not controlling arms. You are simply controlling your center line or dominating their center line. But when that punch comes in, you're taking that center. All these shapes come organically based on the pressure they're giving. If your first punch did not do the job and he's coming in, coming, well, that's bonks out to clear the line, to clear the line. And you're always going forward clearing that line. You will never, hopefully, I don't see how this is possible. Punch left, please. That arm's not gonna be there. And the second we stop training like that, the second Wing Chun's gonna actually have a chance to live, breathe, and grow, okay? This punch comes out fast and then delivers either another punch or hits twice. So we're not controlling anything. Jab will punch out fast, faster, faster. It's gotta be there. You're protected, no shape got formed. Punch again, shape got formed. Punch again, shape gets formed based on what he's telling me. Don't get hell bent on this, guys. Book. Tan Sao, or, 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 or excuse me, Bong Sao. Roll, I lift. You lift, I lift. You lift, I lift. Palm strike, I jump Sao. Gum Sao. Press. Pop. 
pop, cha. It's not what that is. This is to develop your, your punch. It's all we do. Remember, be like water, all these concepts. You just make that contact, boom. Oh, look, I found my next path. Don't be, put these shapes out here. One of the very first uh, videos I did was that bonk out. He punches, this will get your ass kicked. He punches again, yeah, he'll get your ass kicked. Punch again, that's gonna get your ass kicked. None of this shit works. It only works once you bridge the gap. And if you don't bridge that gap, covering your center, protecting your center with a punch, now everything else comes to work. Because that punch isn't gonna be there. Punch, pull back. Still there. Don't be chasing the arms. So again, and I, Clint, to help you expand this a little bit, why you did not be in Fuxiao, I don't, there is no Fuxiao. If you look at Wing Chun, the punch is everything. What do we do? We define center fighting line. The first thing we do is punch. Every other shape out there, punch, Tan Sao, Pak Sao, Wu Sao, Jum Sao, okay? Tan Sao, look at this. There's your Bong Sao. Gan Sao, a little bit out of position, okay? All these things are simply a punch. And if I turn this off, dead hand, well, there's a fuck. Fuck sao is a concept. Fuck sao is not an idea, it's not a technique, it's just an idea. It's an idea that this shape can turn into anything we want. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a technique. There is no such thing as punch, fuck sao. Not a technique at all. So when you think of controlling, when you chi sao, if you link up and you start thinking off the bat, I'm controlling this, this is where your ching, Wing Chun is gonna go to shit and you're gonna fight somebody by chasing their hands. If you don't automatically get off the bat and think about punching and coming in straight forward, everything your, your Wing Chun is done. So remember, your Wing Chun is solely that punch. Your bad guy, your enemy, your opponent, your good guy, Tony High Five, okay? He's the one who dictates what shapes you, you make. Not you. You train this. You do all this over and over and over again so it programs into your, your body, your muscle memory, your, your, uh, your, your neuromuscular skeleton nervous system. You burn that in there so it automatically comes out when you need it. And you don't dictate when it comes out. So forget the fuck style as a technique. It does not exist. It is an idea. And the idea is to simply get information to turn into the next shape. And that shape should always be that punch. Any, anything you add on? Yeah, what are you going to say when somebody says, yeah, but why can't you fuk sao and then yun sao, then strike? It's not going to be there. If I go, if I go to make contact, so one of the classic things, we, we, yun sao is a circling hand. Remember that you know uh, hundreds of years ago, the long bridge martial arts were out there. So if you punch left, we train here, yun, strike. Punch again, uh, yun, strike. That arm's not gonna be there, that's the problem. You cannot say this arm's gonna be there. If, if I'm so worried about punch, and this is fast time, and I go to yun, so I pull it out. It's not there no more. Oh, okay. You can't, it's not gonna happen that way. It's just not gonna happen. Um, yun, so, maybe, 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 maybe. You're holding on to me, you've got me grabbed. Yun, okay, if you can't yun, suck so underneath. Coming up underneath the transition, I, I don't know, but for off that first punch, no, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Oh, anything else? No, I've only seen somebody do it when they were chisa. Yeah, you, you come around. In, right? You come around to get in because that's the tag I got you game. But like I said in one of the other videos, that's not my chisa. Okay, my chisa is and I link up. Okay, we're here. This is learning my body position. This is learning sensitivity pressure. I chisa with somebody coming up. Okay, again. Oh, wait. Again. He makes contact. Okay, let's just roll a little bit. Everything's straightforward. If Tony doesn't give me pressure, which he's not doing, you know, he's, he's my student and I'm beating the shit out of him. If he's not giving me pressure back, there's no shapes. It's just all straightforward. But if he gives me pressure, like Clint was. Like Clint's giving me pressure. What do you guys see me doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a bong sound. Here's my snuff. I got to come in. There's pressure. So then I have to adapt to the pressure. But if there's no pressure, you got nothing. So uh, Clint, do me a favor. Give me an answer on this one. Give the guys an answer on this one. Why did you not fuck sound? What did you feel? Why did you not? Why were you not in this position? Why was your hand? And then look at this too. Close tongue, punch, fuck. Nothing changes. 
What's the position? His elbow is down, he's got his center protected. I don't understand why he would need this or this to control. He's still there, he's still got sensitivity. And if you punch, control, then punch, or just punch. Wing Chun is an attack and defense martial art. It is not, we're wrong, we're wrong. Tony punches, simultaneous attack and defense. Punch, by attacking you are defending. That's what Wing Chun is. So that's my uh, couple two seconds to answer you guys on that one. Folk style is not a technique, it's an idea. All right, keep the comments coming, keep the questions coming, keep everything else. Don't ever steal my line again. Okay. Oh, see you later.